Day one, Josh. How's it feel to be here? Man, it's a blessing. Uh, it's just surreal to be on the NFL football field. Uh, I'm glad to be a Colt, and I'm ready to get to work. Kind of first impressions, kind of getting here, getting around these guys, getting around these new guys, yeah. kind of feeling your way through these first couple days. Yeah, it feels like a family here. I mean, I love the environment, I love the coaches, um, I love the playbook. It's a lot different from college. I'm glad to be in a pro-style offense. So um, me and Anthony Richardson, we actually went outside last night at the hotel, threw the ball for about 30 minutes, chopped it up. So uh, just getting to know him more, too. So uh, I feel like it's going to be a good, uh, just a good few years here. Now, what do you take away from that first 30 minutes, though? Oh, hey, his arm is crazy. He got a tight spiral, and I like catching the ball from him. So you went out like, in the parking lot? Yeah, we were just in the parking lot, just tossing around. I, I texted him like at 2 o'clock yesterday. I was like, hey, let's go in the hotel uh, parking lot, get something in. And then he texted me at like 8 o'clock. He was like, let's go. I was like, I'm ready. So we went out there and just got right about 30 minutes. I mean, how, how, how many routes did you have room to run out there? Oh, we, we weren't running routes. I was just <laughs> catching like straight up, side to side, over the shoulder, just getting a little ball skills in. Mm -hmm. What's it like to be around a guy, though, that will that – will be ready to put in the work like yeah. that. Can you just starting to get into this that quickly? Yeah, I, I, I like guys like that for sure. I mean, I, I went to school with Sam Howell and Drake May. They're they the same type of way. So having a quarterback that loves putting in work, um, I know he's a gamer. Uh, just from that, I know he's ready to go anytime, and he, he's going to put in the work to be great. What do you like best about the new playbook? Uh, I just – so college, it was a little different. We were more RPO-based and all that. So um, having a pro-style offense, just having, like, set routes each and every time, being able to play a lot faster. Uh, I like that more. So, we saw um, we saw yesterday your reaction on draft night. So mm -hmm. emotional. Um, how long did it take to come down from that? And mm -hmm. was there a moment in the next couple of days where it hit you like this is real? This is really happening. I got to get on the plane. Yeah. So I say uh, that night was surreal with my family and friends. Um, the next morning it was still a little surreal. I kept tearing up just thinking about it. Um, but then I got back to work on uh, Sunday or Monday. So really Sunday I just realized like now I mean. I got drafted, and I got drafted on third round, so they expect a lot out of me, so I'm trying to put it out on the field for them. Got back to work. What does that mean exactly? Uh, I mean, go train, work on receiver stuff, work on speed, work on my pops. My pops used to be a coach for about 30 years, so he knows the game as well, and he played in the league, so work on him as well, so just doing that. Is it like nervous energy being here or more of a relief after last week rolling? Uh, a little bit of both. I'd say more nervous because, I mean, going straight from college uh, to the NFL and um, really just after three years, so it was quick. Uh, my plan leaving high school was three years out, and I did that. So uh, it's a blessing to be out here. A um, little nerve wracking, but I feel like nerves are good for me because I perform better under pressure. You kind of had a feeling you might go earlier, did mm -hmm. you? Or Yeah. So, I mean, it looked from the video like you – like, you, you have something to prove, I think, yeah. you feel like. Yeah, uh, for sure. It's just always been like that my whole life. Um, just a shorter guy. So, you know, people just uh, tend to doubt me. So I love – I like being an underdog, and I feel like in those situations, people expect less. So um, I go out there and do more, and it, they just like me even more after that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I know you and Reggie were able to connect at the Combine. Now having him getting in the building, what has he tried to reiterate to you about maybe the standard that there is and the expectation being a rookie within this offense? Uh, yeah, standard is to learn the offense right away. Um, know pretty much all my alignments and splits and um, be precise in all my routes and all my details will be like a day or two after the combine. Me and him were on Zoom for about an hour and 30 minutes just learning the playbook, learning the formations because um, he, he wants me to get in there early compete with the older guys and uh, be able to just help the offense. This was after the draft? Yes, ma'am. Have you had an opportunity to connect with Michael Pittman, Alec Pierce, any of the, the uh, veteran receivers as well? Yeah, Michael Pittman, Alec Pierce, and Isaiah McKenzie, they all texted me after I got drafted. And um, I just saw Alec a few minutes ago in there, and then I saw Isaiah McKenzie yesterday. So um, chopping up with those guys a little bit, getting to know them. Um, because they're going to be in the room with me for the next few years, so I'm excited. This unit hasn't really had a receiver of your build in a while. Maybe not since, like, T.Y. Hilton back yeah. in the day. So for those that aren't super familiar with what you do, mainly in the middle of the field, how would you describe kind of, like, what you're going to add flavor-wise to this offense? Uh, I mean, they expect me a lot of, a lot of option routes, um, a lot of crossing routes, a lot of drags underneath stuff, and then sometimes over the top. So uh, similar to T.Y., I just feel like uh, working over the middle is where I – where I thrive at. You're comfortable there? Yeah, I love working over the middle. A lot of people don't like it, but um, you're going to take some hits here and there, but I feel like um, that's where the money's at. So I uh, got to work over the middle of the field, being in the slot, and then maybe sometimes outside. So, mm -hmm. kind of you kind of have big plays there, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. When you make somebody miss, is that kind of your game? Yeah, when you catch a ball in the middle of the field, a lot more space. If you make one guy miss, you got a chance to make some big plays. So looking forward to it. We'll Did you have more. any top 30 visits with teams prior yeah, to the draft? I was supposed to go to the Browns, um, so they they scheduled one with me, but when they when they traded for Elijah Moore, uh, we canceled it. Um, so no, I didn't have any. That's 
usually a sign of teams don't have questions on a yeah. guy, but then you go to the third round. Is it frustrating just like the, the question that was about you is size and you can't really answer that, but you feel like you have the game that you're just like waiting on someone to, to jump on? Did that kind of add to the, I guess, the emotions of that night? Uh, I just say kind of been like that all my life. So um, a little bit expected, but at the same time, I'm in the right spot now. So um, I appreciate the close organization. Uh, to the fullest they don't even know how much i appreciate them so i'm ready to just give them my all for them you got a big stamp of approval uh, around the draft from a couple guys like reggie wayne and steve smith neither of them really wandering their careers just based on athleticism they're really technical yeah. guys uh what have they been able to impart on you and like how important is it the the mechanics of the position to you yeah steve smith real physical guy great route runner um he was five nine himself so uh, similar to him, he had a great long career, Hall of Fame career. So um, seeing him give me a stamp of approval, uh, that, that was big for me. And then Coach Reggie Wayne was a great route runner himself, a uh, real technical receiver. Um, gold, should get that gold jacket soon. So uh, having two guys like that really believe in me, um, that's all I really need to know. Uh, so I was like, if guys that did it at a high level believe in me, I know I can do it myself. So. Last question, Jan. Uh, I didn't. I mean, I didn't talk to him after the draft. No, okay, but just more so yeah, before the draft, I saw him at the combine a little bit, and he's been to UNC a few times. So, mm -hmm. and the excitement for playing with Anthony Richardson and just knowing maybe what he can do. Oh yeah, I love. I love. I love his arm ability. Um, I, I know he's ready to go. He's a gamer. And he's ready to work. So I'm excited to get a guy in there that that loves the game of football and uh, has a lot of potential. So.